The stage is set for war on both sides of the Valentian continent. Now two childhood friends, the hero Alm and the Princess Celica, find themselves at odds as they lead their armies on separate yet parallel paths in an attempt to quell the conflict. When one of these armies advances on an enemy, a battle begins. Their only chance is to fulfill the victory requirements for each map. Oftentimes, weighing the strengths and weaknesses of each unit is the key to victory. At all times, you must pay heed to the varied enemies and allied units on the battlefield. Dread fighters are powerful warriors with high magical resistance and attack power. Pegasus knights fly over terrain. Paladins are mounted knights with great range and mobility. Snipers eliminate units from long distances. And sages conjure both offensive and defensive magic. If a unit fulfills certain requirements, they can change to a higher class, which will greatly increase that character's strengths. Most notable of all is the humble villager, capable of changing to a variety of classes. There are two modes of battle to choose from when you start your journey. Classic, in which units that fall in combat remain deceased, and casual, where fallen units return at the end of battle. Should an ally meet an unexpected ending, you can use Miller's turn wheel to rewind time and try the turn again. This can be performed once per battle or more if you find the right resources. By equipping weapons and protective equipment long term, units can learn powerful combat arts. Types of combat arts vary from powerful attacks to special abilities. After battling in dungeons or certain locations, you can return at any time to find it plagued with new foes. Fight them again, if you so choose, to build up your allies. Towns and strongholds are great places to look around for supplies or to converse with locals. It's an opportunity to receive information, solve a resident's problems, and occasionally recruit a new ally. You may even spot some items to collect. Sometimes you'll encounter dungeons. Infiltrate one to roam free, smash through obstacles, and find items. It's best to prepare for the worst. Have you the might to master the essentials of tactical warfare? Twin nations founded on the backs of divine dragons. What next, child of fate? Child of fate, you're not the first to call me that. That's why I must end this here. Just winning this war isn't enough. I will fight for my kingdom. Steal yourselves, heroes, for the true test begins on May 19th. Amiibo! Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, is compatible with Amiibo. Amiibo figures of Alm and Celica will release alongside the game. Tap one of these Amiibo to challenge a special dungeon. Or tap them during a battle to trade a bit of health for an illusory doppelganger for one turn.
By tapping a compatible amiibo into the game, you can summon other illusory allies as well. Fire Emblem characters from the Super Smash Brothers series will summon illusions based on the character you tapped, while all other compatible amiibo summon illusory monsters as allies. Command all units to victory, or face the consequences.